The purpose of the research project is to assess the alignment of current graduate students' reasons for selecting a specific graduate degree program with the marketing approach used by recruiters in higher education. This study will do three things. It will provide a demographic profile of current graduate students who respond to the study and collect data that defines students' reasons for selecting a specific graduate degree program. It will also collect the data that represents recruiters' reasons for students to select the program at their institution. And it will also examine the alignment of students' reasons for selecting their program relative to marketing points promoted by higher education recruiters. The researchers ask the question, how closely does this marketing approach by institutions of higher education offering online graduate degree programs in business align with students' actual reasons for selecting a program at a specific institution? To answer it, the study will offer a comparison and analysis of the marketing approaches by nonprofit institutions offering online graduate degrees in business to the surveyed reason for selection of a particular program by a current cohort. This study identifies and examines some of the many variables that a potential student considers when choosing a college or university at which to pursue an online MBA program. For the purpose of this study, we will conduct a survey that asks students about their reasons for deciding to pursue an MBA online and evaluate the alignment between students' responses and institutions' marketing of their programs. Institutions of higher learning, which have historically presented traditional classroom learning, are adapting traditional coursework or creating new offerings in response to increased competition for students. Each college or university identifies the features of these programs, which it surmises will be most attractive to prospective students, and incorporates those variables into its marketing message. Spiritual aspects, such as self-actualization, resonant leadership, and development of distinct professional identity may be presented by recruiters alongside more practical aspects of professional development, such as improved business acumen or perceived opportunities for career advancement as reasons for potential students to pursue an advanced degree online. The promise of these marketing elements in conjunction with conventional marketing triggers, such as total cost of the program, convenience and flexibility for the student, and reputation and strength of the institution and its programs should align with students' reasons for enrolling in an institution's program. From a comparison of survey responses with an analysis of marketing messages, this study should suggest what recruitment messages were actually most significant in convincing students that the Finley Online MBA program was a good choice. The first study, done by Eastman, Boki, and Rojewski from Georgia Southern University, examines factors important to students in their selection of an online MBA program. The researchers note that previous studies have identified varying sets of factors which influence their program selection. However, the studies are inconsistent in their determination of priority of influence. 
The recruitment marketing study from the American Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers noted that graduate schools are inconsistent in their methods of recruiting students and less aggressive in recruitment at the graduate level than the undergraduate level. The evaluation of evidence-based practices in online learning from the U.S. Department of Education provided a strong overview of research in online learning. Although the focus is on primary and secondary education rather than undergrad or graduate programs, the study provided excellent examples of data-driven research, analysis, and reporting for our group to use as guidelines in designing our own research analysis and presentation of findings. The National Association of Graduate Admissions Professionals and Noel Levitz conducted a survey of marketing and recruitment practices in use for master's level graduate programs. The findings in this study seem more consistent with undergraduate than graduate recruitment practices and seemed inconsistent with findings in other studies that our group cited. U.S. News and World Report released its graduate business program's rankings just as we were beginning our research project. U.S. News ranks 240 online graduate business programs offered by public, private, and proprietary institutions throughout the United States. The Promise and the Pathway study from the researchers at Ohio State University analyzed, as our research team did, the content of online MBA websites to determine what marketing messages were represented. The information in our literature review, provided in the secondary data collection, provided us with a baseline of factors for correlation in the selection of MBA programs. These factors assisted us in comparing MBA selection criteria to the marketing and recruitment factors used in their recruitment campaign. The type of research that we conducted required us to initially review literature concerning the factors considered when selecting an MBA program. Key factors identified include, but are not limited to, industry ranking, accreditation, flexibility in course scheduling, program offered completely online, and affordability. Our theory is that the factors that potential students prioritize and the factors that universities publish for recruitment purposes do not in fact align. We believe the reason for this is because recruitment campaigns from colleges or universities are based on factors that will affect that institution's ranking rather than being focused on what students are actually considering as reasons to attend. We hypothesize that the primary factors influencing MBA program selection as reported by graduate students who elect to pursue an online degree at the University of Finley are the option to complete their degree completely online and the flexibility in scheduling their coursework provided in an online program design. We also believe that the factors emphasized by institutions in the marketing of their online MBA programs do not align with the factors students actually prioritize when making their selection of an online MBA program.
When embarking upon data collection, decisions concerning the utilization of primary and secondary data collection must be evaluated. Online survey. These types of surveys are typically conducted using some type of computer-aided software that will provide quantitative data which allows for mathematical analysis. The analytics derived from the results of this data provides us with the information to use in proving or disproving hypothesis. Telephone interviews. These types of surveys require a person to have structured interview questions whereas the respondent can provide answers. There is a limited amount of risk with this type of data collection as it requires each party to hear the other appropriately. The interviewer is required to work within the confines of the respondent's schedule. Face-to-face -face interview. These may be structured or unstructured. When conducting an interview, when the data collected is to be analyzed for research purposes, it is beneficial to ensure that the questions are structured. Typically, secondary research is used to identify if the problem statement can be converted into a hypothesis. Secondary data can also provide useful information when determining if this type of research has been conducted in the past and if any information can be inferred from the prior research. Factors concerning the research may also be uncovered when identifying secondary data options. We utilized a service called Qualtrics to deliver our survey completely online to the students currently enrolled in the MBA 640 spring semester class. The primary data collection would provide us with a targeted sample to evaluate the appropriate factors identified in the exploratory study. An online survey was the most appropriate collection technique due to our classmates enrolling in an online program. The assumption can be made that each respondent would have access to a computer as well as have limited availability. Through our research, we can admit that a telephone or face-to-face -face interview would have been appropriate for this study. However, we could not guarantee the response rate would be as high due to the respondent's availability. Nor could we appro appreciate the risk associated with miscommunication or unstructured questions. The budget for this project was non-existent, therefore it required the group to identify a computer-aided resource that was free. We reviewed SurveyMonkey and Qualtrics as the computer-aided resource. In these aspects, Qualtrics provided the features we required such as ease of use, availability to extract data, and so on. The student profile section of the survey was designed to collect some background information about respondents' characteristics as MBA students. Questions include discovery related to students' academic and professional time commitments. Literature review indicated that a majority of MBA students nationally are employed when pursuing MBA study, with a significant percentage enrolled in graduate programs part-time. The background of each student differed, especially with regards to expected duration of the program, whether the student was a part-time or full-time student, if the type of program they participated in was a hybrid of online and traditional on-site classes. These criteria were important to capture in order to identify the tendencies of the students in each category. For example, Individuals may participate in a hybrid of online and on-site classes, so location of the school may not be a factor in their selection process. 
In cases such as this, location of the program may not be a factor. Expected duration of the program is also essential in order to determine if time was a factor for any of these students. Often, we expect to have a range of time that we expect to complete a task, and it behooves us to know if certain student types have a longer or shorter duration of time. For example, the researcher could make the assumption that the length of time to complete for a part-time student is double the amount of time for a full-time student. Students that expect to be done sooner may have a different expectation of their quality of learning. These questions focused on the correlation between employment and pursuing an MBA. Often, individuals that pursue a graduate degree intend on furthering their current career or pursuing another career path, so it is important to capture their current status. Question number seven is important as it provides us with the data specific to the marketing campaign. If students specify a specific type of marketing campaign, the researcher may then be able to identify the value in maintaining that program or possibly highlighting another factor that is unique to Findlay. Based on the literature review, our research group identified 18 factors which we hypothesized might be influential to some degree in MBA program selection. The factors fell into four larger categories. Industry ranking criteria, personal enrichment, institutional priorities, and program characteristics. Our survey used a balanced Likert scale and asked students to rank the relative influence of the factors they considered when selecting their MBA degree program. These factors were identified during the literature research. Typically, these factors are considered when a potential student is evaluating a graduate degree. Therefore, the marketing programs should ensure that the benefits of their specific program are well displayed. Our survey concluded with a brief section requesting standard demographic information and an open-ended question asking students what they expected to gain from earning their MBA degree. As a part of every program, it is essential to gather demographic data to identify if a specific group answered questions in a similar manner. Question 12 is the only question that was a fill-in-the-blank answer due to the narrowness of the population sampling and the vast amount of answers that could not be captured in a question with some type of scale attached to it. Our survey link was sent to all 26 students in MBA 640. Of these 26 links sent, 77% were completed, 9% dropped out, and 14% did not respond.
For this specific set of data, we found that 60% of participants are employed in the area of their MBA program, while 25% are pursuing an MBA that is not in their current career field. In addition to this, we found that 15% of participants are either interns or grad assistants without specification of their choice of future career path. So we were able to test the validity of this data. We conducted a survey that specifically targeted students enrolled in the University of Finley MBA program. Through our survey, we were able to collect enough data that would either prove or disprove this hypothesis. The overall employment rate of the small sample from the University of Finley is consistent with data points identified during the group's literature review. Many MBA programs require applicants to have some professional work experience, and 65% of the U.S. News ranked top 100 graduate business programs report 90% of their students are employed. One interesting note in this section of our data was that 90% of Finley graduate business students expected to complete their degree in three years or less. Only 13 of the U.S. News ranked top 100 graduate business schools report a comparable three-year graduation rate of 90% or better. Based on demographics for the top 100 ranked graduate business programs represented in the U.S. News, males make up about 55% and females make up about 45% of the graduate student population. Our small sample at the University of Finley is consistent with the overall graduate student population, with possibly a slightly greater proportion of male students. Although 55% of the University of Finley MBA students in our sample are under the age of 30, the average age of our survey respondents is 32.4 years old, exactly the overall average age of students from the top 100 ranked online graduate business programs.
Through testing our hypothesis, we found that factors emphasized in institutions' marketing of online MBA programs did not, in fact, align with the factors students prioritize in program selection. We recommend that institutions explore increasing the depth and flexibility of the online business degree programs they offer and also emphasize these factors more in marketing and recruitment. We also recommend that institutions explore the disconnect between their marketing messages, the factors the messages contain, and the factors that actually influence the student's decision to attend their university. The analysis of the data returned by Group 3's small survey sample does two things. For one, it supports our hypothesis that the priorities of universities and the priorities of potential students do not align. And two, the results show that Finley is consistent with many other studies that we looked at as a part of our literature review. However, our sample size is much too small to provide conclusive results. Education is a topic that has long been debated as a requirement for advancing an employee's career. Over the last decade, the job market has become increasingly competitive, and in an attempt to differentiate oneself from the competition, many job seekers are furthering their education. Students that have completed their undergraduate degrees are deciding to make a commitment to pursue a graduate level degree while balancing the demands of their current career. Due to the increase in educational needs, institutions offering these services must be prepared for increased competition. These institutions are expanding, creating, or revamping their programs in an effort to become the most attractive program that will further their students' careers. In an effort to differentiate their program from competing institution, the program criteria is submitted to a higher education accredited institution to ensure their programs meet the accreditation's identified requirements. Over the last several weeks, we have conducted research of how closely nonprofit institutions that offer online MBA programs align their marketing efforts with the reasons why students actually choose a specific institution over another. This was done by carefully analyzing the data already made available to us through other institutions that currently offer MBA programs. Expansion of our research project survey to include a larger sampling of graduate business students from not only the University of Finley, but other institutions could provide interesting results. Data available in the literature suggests that our research findings may be accurate, however, it would be interesting to see if data continues to support our hypothesis if one, more students who take traditional classes are included, and two, if students from institutions that are industry ranked are included. It would also be interesting to discover how the responses of University of Finley students evolve as the institution pursues accreditations and development of its online degree programs.
The members of Group 3 would like to thank you for your time in watching our production. We would also like to thank those of you who participated in our survey. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email any one of the five members listed in the beginning of this presentation. We will do our best to answer in a way that clears up any confusions you may have. Again, thank you for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day.